Hey guys, uh, what's going on? So today I am reviewing one of the most critically acclaimed albums ever made, one of the best selling albums ever made. It is Nirvana's Nevermind. Uh, I'm going to do some, uh, going to review some tracks off of the album, and I'm gonna uh, give uh, my overall uh, overall uh, uh, review on it, my overall score. Uh, so we're gonna uh, review the first track on the album, uh, their most famous track by uh, quite a bit. Uh, no uh, song um, is near uh, by Nirvana is nearly as popular as this one, and it is uh, "Spells Like Teen Spirit." Uh, now the riff, um, I'm a big fan of the riff. Uh, it's not; it's pretty easy to play on the fret hand, uh, but it it is uh four pick uh pick strokes per beat i believe i'm right about that one um and it follows a 16th note rhythm and oh yeah it is a, a, a very uh fun song um uh, it's really a song for uh generation x uh an anthem for generation x uh, would be the best way to put it, but, uh, yeah, uh, I don't really have anything to add here, uh, just, truthfully, it changed, uh, the decade of the 90s, as we know it, that song alone changed the decade, it, by a band no one even heard of until, uh, the music video played on MTV, uh, and played on all uh, radio stations across the world. I mean, uh, first of all, it did hit number six on the Billboard Hot 100. It also went uh, platinum in the U.S. That means over one million downloads of the song. That's pretty, pretty terrific. Pretty, pretty awesome. It charted at 32 um, on the year-end charts of 1992. And see, how did this not change? This is very extreme uh, for a rock group to accomplish this status for just one song. Um, yeah, I. Pretty awesome, isn't it? Isn't it, guys? Yeah. Uh, let's go on to the next song. The next song on this album is In Bloom. Now, I love the intro riff to this song. Uh, the guitar, the distortion, um, on the riff was pretty awesome, uh, just like the, and the main riff in general, uh, the lyrics on In Bloom, ooh, just magical, magical is what you call, uh, magical, um, I really like the music video to the song, um, kind of, it's kind of old school, like, uh, well, you would see from the Beatles and uh, Buddy Holly, I, uh, the Beach Boys. Um, so, well, I can old, I can just say uh, old classic, uh, uh, early '60s, uh, late '50s, like uh, television uh, broadcast that has a band on playing. Anyway, no, yeah, yeah, pretty good song uh, overall. Uh, don't have anything to add. Uh, but the riff, riff is pretty good. I also like the solo on this song. The next song on this album is another huge, huge hit. Uh, come as you are. Uh, come as you are. I mean, it makes sense because there's uh, sperm on the single cover. Anyway, I digress. Um, um, uh, this song is played in the key of C, and it goes 119 beats uh, per minute. Um, it has a pre-chorus, and then it, it has a guitar solo. Maria. Um, but this song has had a huge impact on the landscape of uh, today. Stupid Blink 182 stole uh, some of the lyrics off of the song. Uh, 
on Adam's song. Stupid, I hate Blink-182. They're like the worst band ever. Uh, anyway, um, pretty great song. Now, the next song on this album is named Breed, um, and it goes in a moderately fast uh, tempo for a rock song, especially for a grunge song at uh, 160 uh, beats per minute. Uh, Kurt's vocal range goes one octave uh, and three notes. Pretty impressive. And uh, this song is composed in F minor. Uh, pretty scary, huh? I mean, it's not like it's C minor or anything, but pretty scary. Uh, anyway, um, yeah. Uh, she said, she said, she said, she said, she said, she said. I, I know I didn't get it from that, but um, yeah, uh, that was that was uh, one of the lyrics. She said, "I don't care, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care." Anyway, uh, yeah, that's that's breed in a nutshell. Song. And oh yes, I forgot to mention the chord progression on this song is fantastic. From the verse to the bridge, whew, man, to like F to D, man, it's just amazing. The next song on this album is Lithium. Now the album starts with bouncing guitar strums and Kurt starts singing in a very quiet manner, you may say. Um, Kurt's vocal range goes from one octave and three notes from the low note of D4 to the high note of G5. Uh... Um, yeah. In the chorus, when Kurt uh, yells, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's over fiber notes and distorted towering riffs. That's pretty cool. And uh, Dave Grohl has very punchy drums on this song. Chord progression is pretty good, too. Yeah. So. Oh, and also, I forgot to mention when I said that uh, when it goes to low note of D4 to G5, that also happens in the song Island in the Sun, I've already reviewed the Green album, so uh, check that out if you can, I would like to get more reviews. The next song on this album is Polly. Now this one's a little bit hard to talk about, so I'm just gonna say it has nice, so soft, plucking acoustic guitar strums. Uh, if you want to know the, uh, the thing behind the song, the story behind the song, uh, it's about, um, a 14-year-old girl getting, uh, um, <laughs> uh, abducted, uh, I'm not, I'm not laughing about this, uh, uh, don't say I'm a bad man, anyway, uh, abducted by a rapist, so, uh, I'm not taking, I'm not laughing at all. Uh, so, yeah, that's the, uh, moral message, uh, behind the song. The song starts, uh, with Polly, it starts with the soft, sludgy, acoustic guitar riff, uh, do, 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 I, 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 I can't recreate it, uh, but, yeah, now, another thing to point out here. The next song I am reviewing on this album, this is actually not the next song on the album, I'm not reviewing all the songs on the album, this is just the next song I'm reviewing, and the next song I am reviewing <laughs> is Dranium. Now, after the opening line, it's one baby to another, I am lucky to have met you, um, and after that, the rest is history. Uh, just loud, very, very loud distortion that hurt, hurt in my ears, hurts my ears. It hurt my ears when I was on my JBL headphones and a combination of bass guitar and punchy drums. Wow. Uh, Kurt's vocal range goes two octave wind, uh, waves and five notes uh, to, from the low note of F sharp four to the high note of B6. Uh, anyways, 
uh, the song is composed, composed in A major. A major for such a dark little song. Not really a dark song, but it is at the same time. Anyway, uh, pretty good song. It's a pretty funny song. One baby to another. Um, I can't. He doesn't speak proper English. The next song I am reviewing on this album is um, Something in the Way. Uh, now, this song has kind of an interesting backstory. Uh, Kurt Cobain had his uh, 12th uh, string Stella with uh, five nylon guitar strings that he had never tuned before. So he played uh, this on uh, the song, and that's pretty, that's pretty interesting, um, anyway, uh, yeah, uh, and also the verses just repeat on this song, it, they just go boop, 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 it's kind of, it's kind of weird, I mean, you don't really hear songs do that, uh, but, like, there's some copiers out there that have done that, the same thing, like, System of a Down, that's a dumb band, Miley Cyrus, stupid singer, but, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, songs about him uh, being sick, essentially, yes. Oh, that's the last song on the album. Uh, I give this album a 9 out of 10. There you go. Bye-bye.